In this video, we will be solving this question which says Shirley's six pack is in the habit of drinking beer each evening while watching the best of Bollerama on TV. She has a strong thumb and a big refrigerator. She doesn't care about the size of the cans that beer comes in. She only cares about how much beer she has. So with this information, your first part is on the graph below, draw sum of the Shirley's indifference curve between 16 ounce cans and 8 ounce cans of beer. Use blue ink to draw these indifference curves. Now note that Shirley only cares about how much beer she has. That means she's only concerned about the total amount. And if that is the case, then the preferences are perfect substitutes as by definition the two goods are perfect substitutes if the consumer is willing to substitute one good for another at a constant rate. So the consumer doesn't care about which good does he get, whether she gets good X or good Y. She only cares about the total amount of the commodities that he is getting by making a substitution or a trade-off at a constant rate. So suppose you have good x1 on x-axis and good y1 on the y-axis, then these straight lines are your indifferent curves where the consumer prefers in this direction. That means the more he has of both the goods, the better he is. Now we want to draw the indifference curve for Shirley where on the graph we have 16 ounce cans on the x-axis and 8 ounce can on the y-axis. Suppose Shirley wants to have in total of 16 ounce. So either she could have one 16 ounce can and zero 8 ounce cans as she only wants 16 ounce or she could have two 8 ounce cans giving her a total of 16 ounce and zero 16 ounce cans. That means she could either consume at this point. And since the goods are perfect substitutes, uh, that means she could either have this or she could have this. Both of the options will give her same level of satisfaction, which means they would be lying on the same indifference curve. And since you know that a unique line passes through two distinct points, thus her indifference curve would look like this. Now, what if she wants to have 32 ounce of beer? If that is the case, then she could either either have two cans each of 16 ounce totaling up to 32 ounces which is 32 and zero 8 ounces can or she could have four 8 ounce can totaling up to 32 ounces which is this point thus her indifference curve for this level of satisfaction would be this she could also have any combination between these two suppose she is consuming at this point here she could have one 16 ounce can plus two 8 ounce cans so that is one which is this and two 8 ounce cans Again, this would be totaling up to 32 ounces. Likewise, for different level of satisfaction or different level of ounces, her indifference curve would look like this. Ha all indifference curve are having the same slope. And higher the indifference curve, that means the higher level of satisfaction Shirley is having. Or you can say she is having more and more beer. Now moving on to the next part, which says, Lauren Keish likes to have a beer while she watches Masterpiece Theatre. She only allows herself an 8 ounce glass of beer at any one time. Since her cat doesn't like beer, she hates stale beer. If there is more than 8 ounce says in the can she pours the excess to the sink. She has no moral scruples about wasting beer. On the graph, use red ink to draw some of the Lorraine's indifference curve. So this is your graph. Now note that unlike Shirley, Lorraine is really concerned that she only wants to have 8 ounce of beer at one time. It does not matter whether she is using a 16 ounce can or she is using an 8 ounce can. So suppose on this evening she only has one glass of beer. So you have one glass which means you have only 8 ounce. Now she has two options whether to use an 8 ounce can or whether to use a 16 ounce can. If she uses an 8 ounce can she would be only needing one can so that would be your point somewhere here as she's only using an 8 ounce can and no 16 ounce can what if in her refrigerator she has only 16 ounce can and no 8 ounces can in that case also she would be consuming entire 16 ounce can how she would be pouring half of it into her glass and she would be throwing away the remaining 
as her cat does not like the stale beer thus she would be emptying the entire can irrespective of the fact how much beer she has thus even if she is consuming 8 ounces of beer she is using the entire 16 ounce of can which is half consumed and half thrown away so that would give me the point this and again since the preferences are perfect substitute which means a unique line would be passing through them which would look like this now what if lorraine consumes one glass in the first half of the theater and another glass in the second half of the theater so in total she is consuming two glasses which amounts to 16 ounce but note that she is only consuming 8 ounce at a time as she is dividing these two glasses into two parts which is in the first half of the theater and in the second half of the theater so if in her refrigerator she has only 8 ounces of can so she would be pouring one can so if you have 8 ounce so she would be pouring one can in the first half and one can in the second half making a total of 16 ounce in the entire theater what if she has only 16 ounce cans in the refrigerator in the first half she would be again pouring one can as half a can she is pouring in the glass and half a can she is pouring in the sink uh, note that she cannot store beer at as her cat does not like stale beer so despite of the fact that it's a 16 ounce can she cannot store it and have half in the first half and half in the second half of the theater no she has to finish off the entire can in one go only and she only drinks 8 ounce of cans and the other half goes in the sink now after this what happens in the second half she again pour herself one can making it a total of 16 ounce note here that we have used two cans of 16 ounces each but lorraine has only consumed only 16 ounce she hasn't consumed 32 ounce as at one time she only pours herself an 8 ounce and everything extra goes into the sink so be very careful does you have the total of two cans here and two cans here does your indifference curve would be from this point to this point which would be like this also she could have chosen the combination bundle as well what if she has both 8 ounce and 16 ounce cans in her refrigerator so she could have chosen that in the first half she pours one can of 8 ounce and in the second half she pours one can of 16 ounce making a total of 16 ounce as the half of this particular can goes into the sick thereby she only consumes only 16 ounces it cannot happen that she only consumes this can of 16 ounces both the times as she can consume half in the first half half in the second half no i am again repeating that cannot happen as her cat hates the stale beer irrespective of the fact how much beer is left in the can she has to throw it away after pouring herself an 8 ounce thereby she is consuming the entire can irrespective of the fact how much beer she is drinking from that can in that case your point would be here as you are having one can of each So this is your one can of eight ounce and one can of sixteen ounce. Likewise, if Lauren has more beer, her indifference curve would look like this, which are having the same slope and they are increasing in this direction.